Happening now, a major snowstorm is socking the northeast. Some people could get up to two feet of snow, and that's making travel, including flights, nearly impossible. We News anchor John Carlos Estrada is live at Southwest Florida International Airport. And John Carlos, are there many stranded travelers there? Lois, the impact has been felt hard here at Southwest Florida International Airport. Now, the best way I can show you is actually taking a look at the flight information board. You can see a lot of cancellations on that board. Now, when it comes to arrivals, there's about 20 flights we've been counting that have been canceled. When it comes to departures, there's less than 10. The areas affected, you guessed it, New York, New Newark, Philadelphia, as well as Boston. Now, we spoke to two women from Massachusetts who had to stay an extra day here in sunny Southwest Florida, but it's okay with them. Take a listen. I'm from Havel, Massachusetts, and she's from Manchester, New Hampshire. And we're just taking more vacation days from work now. We're, we came over today to get day of game tickets, and they had seats. So we saw another game, and they won all three while we were here. So I think the Red Sox should be paying us to go to games. You see they're very happy, stuck travelers. Now the airport is under a travel alert. They're asking passengers to stay on top of communication with their airline as they expect this to uh, impact them through tomorrow. Reporting here at Southwest Florida International Airport, John Carlos Estrada, Wink News Now.